Hi, welcome to HISD TV. My name is Mr. Pa, and I'm an elementary math teacher development specialist. Before we begin, I wanna make sure you have everything that you need. So go ahead and grab something to write with and something to write on. So you can grab a pen, pencil, marker, anything you can write with, and then your math journal, math notebook, or notebook paper, so anything you can write on. Make sure you have those materials so we can begin our lesson today. And we're gonna be in the unit of personal financial literacy. And our objective today is, I can calculate profit in a given situation. I can calculate profit in a given situation. So, as we get that started, let's go ahead and go over some vocabulary words that will help us through our lesson today. Our first word is expense. It is the cost required to purchase or obtain goods or services. So this cone is $1.75. We will purchase this waffle cone for $1.75. That is an expense. You're purchasing something with your money. So it's an expense. Then you have something called income. Income is money received from doing goods and services. So this person is mowing the lawn. It's a service. So they're going to get an income for doing this service. So basically, when you have a job or a career, you're doing good of services, you get an income, which is money, money that you can use to spend on different expenses. And then the word that we're going to really highlight today is profit. It's an amount calculated, amount of money calculated by subtracting expenses from the income. So our profit is an amount of money calculated by subtracting expenses from the income. So with this profit, we're gonna subtract the expenses from the income and that's how we get a profit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clear my vocabulary and our objective and put a math story up here. So that way we can solve um, that math story. And not only that, we're gonna see how we can gain this profit and we see different stories of how people have an income and they're subtracted expenses, get profits. So we're gonna work our way through that so that way we know how this can be applied in our real life. Okay, so what I have here is our math story and a writing board for me to uh, do work on. But before I begin, I just want to express how uh, I want you to pay attention to this lesson because this is something that uh, you will use a lot when you grow up and grow older as you get a job and income and uh, be able to calculate and budget uh, your spendings. So that way you know how much income you make, how much money you make from the job or career you have, and then the expenses you spend. Like the last lesson, you should have learned about uh, fixed variables and um, different variables where it's a fixed ink, where you can have a different things you have to pay for, such as your rent, car note, whatever it may be. But then there are other variables where you can't control how much it may or may not cost, such as gasoline, groceries, so there's a lot of things that's going to go on in your life as you get older that has to deal with money. So I really hope that you're paying attention to this um, unit of personal financial literacy. So that way you can remember some of these things as you get older and be able to apply it um, in your life um, in the future. So let's go ahead and check out this story. And then this story may be something that can relate to you or, um, or even one of the other stories. So that way you can get an idea of how businesses work and how people are able to make money and sell things and make a profit of it. So that way when they make a profit, it's money that they get uh, that they can spend without having to pay for all the expenses. All right, so let's get to our math story. Heather bought an old wooden bookcase. She repaired it and put a new coat of stain on it. When she finished, she sold it to a neighbor. She made the following list to help her calculate her profit. I'm gonna read it one more time so that we can understand the story. Heather bought an old wooden bookcase. She repaired it 
and put a new coat of stain on it. When she finished, she sold it to a neighbor. She made the following list to help her calculate her profit. So the price paid for the bookcase, $15. So she spent $15 for the bookcase. Cost to repair the bookcase, $7.50. So because it was an old wooden bookcase, there were some things she repaired, and this was the um, cost of it. And the cost to put new stain on the bookcase is $4.50. Her selling price of the bookcase is $65. So looking at this information here, what we gathered is that, that she's spending money or spending money on expenses to fix this bookcase to sell it. So now the question is how much profit did Heather make of the wooden bookcase? So before we begin getting into the solving the problem, let's go through our three read strategy. So we're gonna go through our three read strategy. The first question is, what is this story about? And I forgot to mention, you may wanna write this if you're, um, if you're watching this through YouTube, you may wanna write this down so that way you can answer it. But if you're watching through, um, the TV, then it's okay, just follow along with me. What is the story about? So go ahead and take the time to write that. And actually, if you're at home and you're watching this through YouTube, I want you to go ahead and pause the video and write this problem now so you have it in your journal or your paper, whatever you're writing on it with. But if you're watching this through the TV, you can go ahead and do, we'll just go ahead and follow along and uh, watch, watch what I, how I solve this problem. So what is this story about? Heather bought a bookcase. And then she fixed it. She fixed it, comma, and sold it. So the story is about Heather who buys a bookcase, fixes it, and sells it. So what do I need to find out? That's the next question you will need to write. Uh, in your journal or milk prepared. What do I, I'm gonna switch sides so you can see probably better, need to find out. What do I need to find out? Well, we need to find out how much profit Heather made on fixing and selling the bookcase. So how much profit Heather made from fixing and selling the bookcase? Okay, so there's two more questions you have to go through. What do I know, or what do we know? So we know, oh well, let me write the question now. What do I know? Well, what we know is that Heather paid $15 for the bookcase. The bookcase and then and then she pays seven fifty fifty to repair it seven dollars fifty cents to repair it and then she paid four dollars and fifty cents to stain it to 
stain it. So, we know how much she bought the bookcase for, how much she used to repair it, and to stain it. How much did she sell it for? Let's go back to our back story. Selling price of bookcase is $65. Sold it for $65. So we know how much she spent on it and how much she sold it for. So what's our next steps? Our next step is to add the expenses. The expenses here. And then subtract it, subtract the sum from the selling price to find out the profit. So we're gonna we're gonna add the expenses and use the sum of that and subtract it from the uh, selling price so that way we can see how much profit she made. So add the expenses. Subtract the sum from the selling price. I'm going to read it again. So we're going to add the expenses and subtract the sum from the selling price. So what I'm going to have to do is clear my board. And then once I've cleared my board, I have room to work. But what you could probably do is put your cop pause the video, copy the three reads down, the max story three reads down, so that way you have your notebook to look at as we solve the problem. But I'm gonna go ahead and clear this off. And after I clear off where I have room to solve for the problem. Okay, so now we're gonna have, um, solve our math story. In order to do that, um, the question was, uh, original question is how much profit did Heather make of the wooden bookcase. And we said in order to do that, we had to add our expenses up um, together and then subtract the sum of the expenses from the uh, amount that she's selling the bookcase for. And remember, expense is the cost required to purchase or obtain goods or services. So the expense here is that she's obtaining some goods, she's obtaining the um, goods of staining it and the bookcase itself. So she obtained that and the um, service she's doing by repairing it. And then what she's going to do is sell it for $65. So let's go ahead and add the expenses up. $15, $7.50, and then $4.50. So we have zero plus zero plus zero is zero. And then we have 50 cents plus 50 cents, which gives us a dollar. So Put my dollar up here. One dollar plus five is six dollars plus seven is thirteen, and thirteen plus four is seventeen dollars. And bring down my decimal and then put my ten up there. Ten plus the ten here that gives us twenty dollars. So she spent an expenses of twenty seven dollars. This is her expense. So we found our expenses. So since we know what the expense is, what we're gonna to have to do is subtract the expense from how much she sold it for to get the profit. So we know that it was $65 that she sold the bookcase for, and we're gonna subtract our expenses. Zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus is zero. And now we have five dollars to track seven dollars. We can't do that, so we have to regroup. We're gonna look in the ten dollar area and see that we're gonna regroup by taking uh, a set of ten, and this becomes five tens. And that set of ten added to the five ones here gives us fifteen. So now we can go ahead and subtract 15 from seven. And that gives us $8. And now 50 subtract 20 is 30. So Heather's profit is $38.
So again, her profit is how much she's making, uh, amount of money she's making that she didn't have to spend or that she didn't even have before. So again, in order for her to do that, she would have to calculate the expenses she did and use that sum to subtract from the selling price to get the profit that she has here. So hopefully that made some sense to you and that you're able to follow along. We're going to do another problem together so that way you have some practice and be able to do your exit ticket on your own. Okay, so what we have here is another practice problem for us to work on. Just It looks a little different, but it's the same idea of finding the expenses and finding the profit of how much is being made. So, Lucy operates a bakery business. The chart below shows Lucy's expenses for the last two weeks. So, here are her expenses and then her sales are on the bottom. We got my dollar sign. So what you should do right now is if you're watching this through a YouTube video, you can pause the video to copy this down so you can work on it at home. So go ahead and do that. But if you're watching this through TV, go ahead and just watch how I solve for this problem. So the first question is, during week one, week one, Lucy made made Lucy made five hundred and seventy five dollars in sales. So she made five hundred seventy five dollars in sales. What? her profit for week one. So go ahead and take the time to write this question down. I'm gonna read it to you again. During week one, Lucy made 500 and $75 in sales. What is her profit for week one? So again, we know that she made that much sales and in order to find that profit, we have to calculate how much she's ex uh, her spe expenses were and take the sum to track it from um, the sales. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. Let's look at how much expenses she had for week one. She had the $56.59, and then $17.53. So again, we're going to add this to find we're going to add this to find how much expenses she had for week one. Nine plus five is 14 plus three is 17. My 10 cents goes up there. 10 cents plus 50 cents is 60 cents plus 50 cents is a dollar and 10 cents plus 50 cents is a dollar and 60 cents. My dollar goes in the dollar place. One dollar plus six is seven plus three is ten dollars plus seven is seventeen dollars. Ten plus fifty is sixty. Sixty plus twenty is eighty. Eighty plus twenty is a hundred. Plus ten is a hundred and ten. Bring my decimal down. So she made a prof, oh, I'm sorry, her expenses total were $117.67. So now we have to subtract this from her sales price to get her profit. $575 subtract $117.67. Zero minus seven, we can't do, we regroup. Another zero here, can't do that, regroup again. One dollar, break it up into 10 cents uh, to different 10 cents, it gives us 10, 10 cents. And now we're gonna take 10 cents to turn it into 10 pennies. And that becomes 90 cents. 10 minus seven is 
three. We have three cents there. 90 minus 60 is 30. And then, oh, I'm sorry. We regroup a dollar here, so that's actually gonna be a seven. My mistake, that's gonna be a four because that was a five, I misread that. And then the four minus seven, can't do that, so we have to regroup. The seven be 70 becomes a 60, and then the four becomes a 14. 14 minus seven is seven, 60 minus 10 is 50. And now we do 500 minus 100 is 400. So her profit is $457.33. So that's how much profit she made for week one. Now, during week two, Lucy made, let's divide that. During week two, Lucy made $450. What's her profit for week two? So again, we look at her expenses, we're gonna add those up, and then when we get that sum, we subtract that sum from her sales price. So we have 56, $56 and 59 cents plus $18 plus $22 and 55 cents and then plus $15 and 25 cents. So we're gonna go ahead and add these expenses up. Nine plus, well, let's do five plus five is 10, plus nine is 19. Then we have 10 cents plus 50 cents is 60 cents. 60 cents plus 50 cents is a dollar and 10 cents, plus 20 cents is a dollar and 30 cents. So my 30 cents go there, my dollar goes in the dollar place. One plus six is seven, seven plus eight is 15. 15 plus two is 17, 17 plus five is 20. Two. So I put my $2 here and my 20 over here. 20 plus 50 is 70, plus 10 is 80, plus 20 is 100, plus 10 is 110. So her expenses were $112.39. We will take this and subtract it from her sales price of $450. Subtract. $112.39. Okay, we have zero and zero, so we have to regroup. We have another zero, so we have to go all the way to the $10 spot, $10 place value spot, and that becomes a 40. Now this one's become 10 ones. Then we regroup again, the 10 ones become nine ones and then we'll have 10 10 cents and then that becomes 90 cents and this becomes the 10. 10 minus nine is one nine minus three is oh 90 minus 30 is 60. then we have nine dollars minus two dollars is seven dollars 40 minus 10 is 30 and then 400 minus 100 is 300. So her profit for week two is $337.61. So again, what we did was we were able to take the expenses, get the sum of that, and subtract it from the amount she sold us, the amount the sales price that she had of all the money that she's um, gained from selling the items she did. So that's how we found out her profit. Again, her profit is for week one is $457.33, and her part for week two is $337.61. But here's a question, how much is her profit for both weeks? What will we do then? 
was simple. All we have to do is take the profit from week one and week two and add that together to get the profit she made for both weeks. Let's go ahead and do that. 457, 33 cents. So we're just gonna add these two um, profits together to find out how much she made for both weeks. One plus three is four. 60 plus 30 is 90. Seven plus seven is 14. Bring my 10 up there. 10 plus 30 is 40. 40 plus 50 is 90. 300 plus 400 is 700. So she made a profit of $794.94 and 94 cents. I'm gonna say it one more time. $794 and 94 cents. So she made a lot of profit from her bakery business. So all that money she made from profit is money that she gets to keep and spend that doesn't really go back to her business because that's how much money she made as a profit. So it's just something for you to think about as you uh, get, um, as you grow older and think about your career and your job and how much profit you make depending on your different expenses you have as you grow older, whether it be rent, renting for a home, uh, car payments, electricity bill, all those, all sorts of different things. So just something for you to keep in mind as you get older. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna post an exit ticket for y'all to do. I'm gonna clear all this off, give you an exit ticket for y'all to do, and uh, you'll be able to do that at home uh, on your own. So just go. let me go ahead and clear this off. Okay, so this is the exit ticket. So if you're at home watching this on YouTube, uh, go ahead and copy this problem down. You're, when you copy it down, solve it, and let your teacher know so that way she can give he or she can give you the correct answer. You'll show them the problem with all your work that you have and let them know this is your answer you found um, based on this math story that I'm about to read to you. But if you watch it through TV, you'll just go ahead and look at this problem. And actually, you can copy this too. Um, I'll just leave it up for a little bit and have you copy it. As I'm talking, you, I'll give you a chance to copy this down. Or as I'm reading it, it'll give you a chance to copy it down. So follow along with me. And make sure you have your paper, pencil, whatever you're writing with and on ready so you can copy this down. John operates a candy business. The chart below shows John's expenses last week for the candy he purchased. So I want to talk about the chart and you can copy the math story down. I'll read it again. John operates a candy business. The chart below shows John's expenses last week for the candy he purchased. So John's candy store expenses. So he has chocolate and the cost was $76.59. Jelly beans, $54.23. Taffy, $17. Lollipops, $37.54. Last week, John made $875 in sales. What was John's profit for the week? So go ahead and take the time to copy this down so that way you have it and can solve for it. And as you're doing that, I'm going to just go ahead and read it again. So it gives you time to write it down and for me just to so you can hear me say it again. John operates a candy business. The chart below shows John's expenses last week for the candy he purchased. So we know that he operates a candy business and this chart's gonna show us how much all his expenses were. So for chocolate, it's $76.59. Jelly beans, $54.23. Taffy, $17. Lollipops, $37.54. And then last week, he made up sales, $875 in sales. So what's his profit? And remember, to find that profit, we have to take the expenses and subtract it from the sales that he made to get that profit. Go ahead and do that. And once you've done that, wonderful. Let your teacher know so that way they can check it. And then something I just want you to think about as we close out our lesson today is how can having a large profit help you? I just want you to think about that question. How can having a large profit help you? So it's very important for you to keep track of your money, your budgeting, and your spending, so that way you can see how much profit you actually make. 
So this is just something I hope that you can take with you and remember with you as you grow older and in life, as you have a job, a career, whatever it may be. So thank you for tuning in HISD TV.